Hello everyone, Christina here, your tech director. Today, I'm going to teach you some quick tips on how to build your real estate business page on Facebook. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you. All right. So first step is to log on to Facebook. If you have not created a Facebook page yet, just make sure you go in there and create a personal Facebook page. Once you've done that, you'll be in this screen that shows your news feed, and all of these um, things will be on the left here on this menu. So we're going to click on pages because we are building a real estate business page. So once you're in the pages section, you're going to click on create new page right here. And that brings up the starting to build your business page. So the first step is to create your page name. Now, um, double check the compliance um, laws in your state um, and also with your brokerage and just make sure you know um, exactly what the rules are with naming your business page. Now with Keller Williams, um, we can put our um, team name, we can put our name, we can put our name comma realtor, um, some people put their name, comma, realtor with Keller Williams Realty or the DBA of their market center. So just figure out what you would like to name it. I always like to stick with name, comma, realtor. Once you've done that, you're going to select your category. If you type real estate here, you'll see different options. Um, if you are a broker or an agent, um, you could put real estate agent. Um, depending if you're, you know, the broker of your own brokerage, you could put real estate company. Um, so just once again, double check on the compliance rules. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and put real estate agent here. Description, you only have about 255 characters here. So keep this pretty short and sweet. Um, definitely remember your UMP, which is your unique um, selling proposition. So you want to make sure that you are really explaining what makes you stand apart from your competitors, okay? So right here, I definitely recommend to start it by saying who you are brokered with. So brokered by Keller Williams, Realty, Johnson County. And then I also recommend to put your license number here. And then you can add in there your um, description, your bio, okay? Once you have done that, you will click create page. So once you do that, it's going to load some more information here. You can add down here the profile picture. So we just click here. We find our picture. Select your picture and add it in there. Once you've done that, we're going to add our cover photo. So cover photos, um, if you're with Keller Williams, we have designs in command where you can build a cover photo for Facebook um, and other social media platforms. When you're in command, you would just go to designs down here. And then once this loads, you would just click the blue plus sign, social, next. And then this will open up your design studio. And so from here, once it loads, we're just going to click on um, a few more things and then you'll be able to see where we would do this. Right here under lead generation, I'm sorry, business basics, you would click social branding. And then it brings you to where all of the cover photo options are. You'll see up here the different platforms. So you could click Facebook covers to see all your different options here. So once you've built it and saved it, you would just click add cover photo. And I already have one created. So I'm going to click right here. We click open. And then it's going to add it right there. Once you've done that, we're going to click save. And also, if you're not with Keller Williams, there are other platforms that you can build cover photos as well. 
um, like Canva is a great option. So once you have done that, you've created your page and you'll see on the right side that it's set up. Now we're just gonna fine tune a few things. You can add a button here. When you click that, it shows you different options um, of what you would like that button to say. I really like the contact us option and you can even put your website here. And then save that. So then they could click that and it would say contact us. <clears throat> you can create a username right here. This is a great way for people to quickly find your page. So it starts with the at symbol and then you could just put whatever you'd like your username to be. Okay. Apparently someone already used that one. There we go. So created that, that's done. So now that's in there. And so then you can also scroll down here. Now, obviously you'll see where you can create posts here. We'll come back to that. When you scroll down here, you will see the about section. So this is where you can go in here, click the pencil, you can edit your description. You can enter your location of your office. You can enter your website, phone number, all of these options. So definitely go in there. You can also click right here to edit your page info. Once you have filled all that out, um, one of the last steps is to click create post. And we are going to copy and paste our IABS link here so that the document will pin to the top of the page. Now, how you do that, when you are in Google Drive, you can add your document, your IABS, right here under new file upload. And then you would just load in there your IABS. Once you've done that and you've uploaded in there, you can open up your IABS and then click the three dots at the top right and click share. And then from here, you can copy the link right here. Now double check and make sure that this says anyone on the internet with this link can view. If it does not say that, just click change and change it to that option. So that way um, it's not restricted and you know it's not restricted to people only in your organization that can view it. It's public that anyone on the internet can view it. Once you've done that, you would click copy link, go back to your realtor page and paste that link right here. And also at the very beginning of it, I usually type required information. So once you do that, you just post it and that's going to post your IABS on your Facebook business page. And to keep it at the top of the page, you just click these three dots and then you would click pin to top of page. Okay, so now anytime someone comes to your page, as you see, I'm gonna refresh the page here, then you will see that post at the very top of your page always, okay? So um, from here, you can just start posting posts on here. Um, keep in mind as you're making comments and things that you have this toggle switch here. Make sure it's always on your realtor page if you're wanting to interact on comments and um, things like that as your realtor page. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. If you ever need anything, I'm always here to help. Have a great day.